Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you five settings that you must change right now on your Realme 14T. There are going to be just five settings, but they are going to do a pretty big job. Um, uh, there are going to be settings that are going to improve our longevity, but also the ones that are going to um, make the phone faster or more secure. So let's begin by the longevity of our battery, which we can set in the settings. So let's go to the settings app, then go to battery. Now um, here is battery health and the smart charging is the option that increases the longevity of our battery. What it does is it learns your charging habits and adjusts charging patterns accordingly. So um, if you plug your phone in at night, each night, or maybe not at night, but in, during the day, but in certain hours each time, um, then it'll learn it and uh, start charging your phone to, let's say, um, 80 percent, uh, then pause it and uh, resume about an hour before you are expected to unplug it. Um, and also it'll charge it at a slower rate so your um, battery doesn't get too hot and also doesn't overcharge. I know that lithium ion batteries don't really overcharge, but still having them um, plugged in at 100 percent all the time um, may uh, sort of destroy your battery so uh, the smart charging is a really good option that should always be enabled on your phone now let's get to the next one which will improve the speed or of, of our phone there are actually gonna be two settings for the speed but the first one isn't really a setting it is uninstalling the bloatware i don't know if you've noticed but um, on your phone there are lots of unimportant games like if you if you open any of these games i'm like 90 percent sure most of them will have ads every 15 seconds so they are not really worth playing i guess and to uninstall them just press and hold on them then click on uninstall and i will uninstall mo all of the games for sure then we're gonna get to any other app that we can also uninstall that we may need or not. This will for sure free up our storage, but also not only storage, but also um, will free up our, um, will make our device faster. So as we get to more apps, these apps also can be uninstalled they are of course up to your preference if you want to keep the amazon music booking, booking com or aliexpress on your phone you can keep it the block blast isn't too bad of a game i guess but i'm gonna still uninstall it since it really still has a lot of ads then this app i would highly recommend uninstalling it it's just not worth having and then the Timu, I don't really like it, so I'm gonna uninstall it, but it's up to you. Basically, um, everything that you see here past Facebook, including Facebook and past it, can be uninstalled, uh, besides the Gemini, of course. But also, um, <laughs> as you slide up, you will see, um, there is a chance that you'll see, I don't see it here right now, but um, maybe after I open the app market, for the first time and consent to a few things then I will see the hot apps and hot games these aren't really any important and I would just disable it it isn't an app that you can uninstall in order to disable it go to app market then go to me settings and disable hot apps and hot games by the way, I don't really get the app market. Mm, it just isn't necessary, I guess. There's only the apps and all of them have, like, most of them are really worth trying. So honestly, just use the placer. 
But、um, let's maybe get to the next part, which is、um, reducing animation duration, which also will make your device faster.、Um, let's get to let's get to the settings, and then we will need to enable developer settings. And if we do that. Please be pretty careful. If you don't feel comfortable with、uh, setting,、uh, changing some, <clears throat> with enabling the developer settings,、uh, because, for example, I don't know, your children use your phone, and you just don't want them to accidentally open、uh, the developer settings and break something, then just skip this step. But if you do feel comfortable with that, just follow what I do and don't change the settings that、um, have like weird names. So let's get to about device, then version, and click on version number seven times. You may be asked to enter your、uh, lock screen,、um, screen lock, and <clears throat> now we can get to system and update, developer options which have just just been enabled, and scroll down until we can see the window animation scale, transition animation scale. And animator duration scale. All of these can be changed. I think that it's the best to change each of,、uh, like, all three of them to the same value. And as you can see, you can set it to off. And if I set it to off, everything happens immediately. But I, I don't think it looks quite too good. So what I prefer is the 0.5. Then the animations are just faster. Uh, and the time times ten, for example, will make the animation way slower. So it's all up to you. But I prefer to have it on 0.5 on all of these settings. So it's just just like that makes it look faster. But if you don't like it, you can go back and just set it to one times.、Mm, then another thing now for security. And also to make your phone fast and to have the newest features、um, is auto update. This is, I think, pretty crucial、uh, to have your phone updated、um, regularly, so it just runs smoothly, securely with the newest features. And to do it, go to System and Update, Software Update. It'll start checking for updates, and if it finds any now, then I would highly recommend. Enable、uh, downloading them. Just click on download and install. It'll start downloading, and you can continue to use your phone in the process. But later on, you will be、uh, asked to restart your phone, and、uh, you just need to restart it. Wait for a moment and continue using your phone with the newest OS version. But、uh, what I wanted to do is actually click on auto update, and、um, you can enable auto update overnight. So if your、uh, phone is not in use, it's plugged into power, connected to the internet, and like hasn't been used for a moment between two and five a.m., then it'll update itself if an update is available. And it also says that auto update overnight may not be available for major software updates. So if there is a major software update from time to time. Like sometimes it's one year interval.、Uh, it's great to just check it yourself, or maybe you'll get a notification. Who knows?、Um, now the last setting, which is worth changing, and it's mainly, I think, only for security, is theft protection. And to change it, go to security and privacy, device unlock, and you need to have a screen lock set for that matter. And I can't really see this option right here for some reason. I used to see it on this exact phone, so、um, I'll just talk about it. So there will should be the theft protection option. I'm just gonna double check if it's not anywhere here. So there is the anti-theft features, which are not really the same thing. So. Mm, you can check it out yourself, but、uh, I, I wanted to show you something else, and I'm gonna see if I can、mm, find it here. 
Not really, but um, yeah, so there should be the theft protection. And if you have it, then you can enable uh, for either the theft protection option when someone takes your phone, if you have it unlocked and have it in your hand, uh, they just take it and run, run away with it, it'll lock itself automatically. Or if uh, someone takes your phone and um, it loses the internet connection, then it'll um, lock itself. It's just like th these two options. And then you also can enable an option that you can, um, when enabled, when your phone is locked or stolen or whatever, uh, you can just um, go to android.com slash lock, I believe. It'll be shown there in the setting uh, so you can memorize it or save it, uh, write it down somewhere. And uh, once you have it, then uh, basically um, you can go to that website, enter your phone number, and that'll lock your phone um, remotely. So that is the option that I wanted to show you. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.